Hello everyone! Welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning about for loops, which... I'm sorry I haven't taught you yet, I actually thought I did. Uh, but I guess I didn't. Uh, so we will be learning about those and implementing the for loop so that we can actually put it towards the key down event and key up event that we've been learning about. Uh, but that'll probably be next tutorial when we actually implement it very well. Um, but right now you're looking at my new channel design. Uh, it's the new one channel design on YouTube. Uh, I like it. I like the other one a little better, but that's just human nature to not like change. I'm sure I will get accustomed to this and actually end up liking it. So right now you're looking at as if you weren't subscribed to me. Uh, which hopefully you are. If you aren't, please subscribe. Um, you can also watch this trailer video, this Welcome to Be Baller 13 SN TV video, uh, on my page. Hopefully it will convince you if you aren't quite sure about subscribing yet. Um, that's, uh, I like it. But on a more serious note, um, I'm filming this on the 13th of March, 2013. You're watching this if you're watching it the day it came out, but the day this will be released is the 14th of March, 2013. But, since it is still the 13th for me, uh, I'm going to say, um, most of you should know, there was a new pope elected in Rome today, uh, yesterday for when this video is released. So, I'm going to say a quick prayer, join in, that just... Hopefully this pope uh, is. Hopefully God blesses this pope, and we can, and the church can grow and become a better uh, body of Christ. Uh, but on to the tutorial. Now, this is take three. Yeah, three of this video. First take, my laptop just shut off on me. Second take, my parents called me, and I actually didn't get that good of a start, so what do you know, I'll just do it again. This time, let's hope I can actually finish it. Alright, now, let's go into the script. Uh, the script in our workspace, not our local script, which we've been working with lately, um, but the script. Now, we're going to make a four... I'm just going to show, explain what we're going to do here. We're going to make an array of all the names of variable names, which we will make actual variable values, the object things, like over here in basic objects, like bool values is what we'll be using. And those are Boolean values, the yes or no, check or uncheck. Um, geez, could they be closing doors louder? I don't know if you guys can hear them, but <laughs> uh, Anyway, bool value. So we'll be making a large array of names for them so that we can actually have a bool value inside every player for every key on the every alphabet or every letter of the alphabet and every number one or zero through nine so that we can monitor keyboard input a lot more efficiently so that we don't have to have a million local scripts we can have just a bunch of scripts accessing that okay and um, we're going to do that by making a large array I'm going to just speed through the array so you guys don't have to see it all that much. You guys can just see, oh, he's typing away, and it'll be done in a couple seconds for you, but it'll probably take me a minute. Uh, so let me get that started. Array's done. Yes. All right. Now we can work on the actual for loop, which is the meat of this tutorial, even though I've actually been filming for close to six minutes. Um, Let's get to this script, though, shall we? Alright, so I'm just gonna write the line and explain it afterwards. So for oops, for i equals one, number of keys do. Alright. So let's just get this end part out of the way. You guys know what end does. It ends the block. And then we have this for. And for me and tells Lua, okay, we're about to declare a for loop. Now a for loop is a loop which loops through a certain number of times, which you specify over here. I'll explain this section in a second. 
but just loops through a certain number of times and increments itself, okay? So by increments itself, I mean you, the first, okay, you can see this as the parameters, okay? The first parameter is the index, and you sub change the value of that parameter to be where do you want to start? Where should the index start? And I'm going to use i, because that's typical, as the name. i equals, i meaning index, and then equals 1. 1 is the beginning of a list of a table of an array in Roblox Lua, as you know. Or actually, in Lua as a whole, I believe. Uh, comma, separating the parameters. They're not really parameters, but look at them that way. And then hashtag, the pound sign, number symbol. That's what it originally was. But the number symbol, when in Lua, when you put a number symbol before the name of a variable of a table, it takes all of the no it takes all of the variables in the table, and it counts them up to see how many they are, and it returns how many n variables are in the table. Okay. And for this time, we're getting the keys. So actually, this should return 36 uh, every time because there's the 10 letter uh, 10 numbers in counting and I actually have two zeros I should fix that oops there we go so the 10 counting numbers and then the 26 letters of the alphabet combine for 36 total variables and then this do just says okay I've given you all you need let's go through and do this loop however many times I said and increment I or the index every time okay so this I Every time it runs through the loop is actually going to increment to be the value it was last time plus one. Okay. And we're actually just going to make a very simple script. We're going to type in key. Actually, yeah, key is a variable. We're making a variable. Key equals instance dot new bool value. You guys should remember instance dot new. It's just create a new value of some type. You supply it as a string there and then you can name where it goes by just putting its parent here, or you can actually explicitly tell it later. Uh, but this is easier. Uh, so we're making a new boolean value and putting it inside the player, and then we're going to change the name to keys i, and that is keys, and then indexing into the table to find the object at the index of i, whatever i may be at that current in um. <sighs> time through the loop. I don't I can't think of the real word for it. And then it's just done. So let's go here and let's just test it. All right? All right, back it loaded. I'll, now all we're going to do is actually look inside the player and see if he got all the variables. All right, 0 through 9. Backpack and star gear and then A through Z. It worked and we have also got this level in lives which is okay. Now we actually need to add one more thing to that because we're going to run into some errors next tutorial if we don't and we're just going to add another variable named all added. I'm not going to explain what it's going to be used for yet but you guys will find out tomorrow so actually Monday because uh, tomorrow I'm going to be explaining while loops because uh, that's another type of loop that I could have sworn I should have shown you in the first 20 episodes. But here we are, episode 50-something, and I still haven't. So I'm going to cover some ground and teach you guys that. So in the meantime, um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.